come meet ours. Welcome to the jungle. On Nat Geo Wild. On today's show, stupendous sharks. Striking snakes. And of course, some fascinating fuzzy creatures too. It's the best of the best. All your favorite National Geographic wildlife moments crammed into one show. Welcome to Totally Wild. Great white sharks. Is there any sea beast so feared by humans? Great whites like these here off the coast of South Africa in an area called False Bay can reach 20 feet in length and weigh up to 5,000 pounds. That's more than a pickup truck, but slightly less than a luxury SUV. Add this to the fact that great whites can sprint through the water at speeds up to 43 miles per hour, and it's no wonder we're afraid of sharks. But should we be? I mean, let's face it, they have great vision, they're curious like cats, and they love to taste things that get their attention. But many scientists believe they don't like to eat humans. They feel about humans the way most humans feel about lima beans. There's something to eat out of desperation. The fact is, great whites sometimes taste humans for the same reason they taste other things, like motors or boats. Their ampullae of Lorenzini prompt them to taste it. Of course. The ampullae of Lorenzini are gel-filled electroreceptors found all around the shark's snout and head. That's these smaller pores you see here. These receptors are extremely sensitive to electrical discharges, even as small as 0 .005 microvolts. That means anything that gives off the tiniest electrical charge has to be checked out including all living creatures in the sea. Forget humans and motorboats. If you want to see the great white sharks flip over, literally, let's talk about seals. We know that some whale species engage in what's called breaching, leaping out of the water. But did you know great white sharks can breach as well? False Bay Great Whites put on a show as they go after a seal decoy being pulled by a boat. If humans are lima beans to sharks, then seals are a double hot fudge ice cream sundae with three cherries on top. Luckily, we're, yeah, uh, lima beans? Now, the tender love life of the shark. Who knew? What's more fun than watching sharks? Well, that's easy. Watching sharks mate. In particular, watching nurse sharks mate. We've captured their fascinating mating rituals on film. Nurse sharks live in the warm coastal waters of the Pacific and the Atlantic. These here are in the Florida Keys. For two weeks every two years, the females linger in shallow water, ready to breed. The males can't make all the moves they need to in shallow water, so if a female doesn't like a particular male, she just keeps to her position of strength in the shallows. When the female makes her choice, the honeymooners travel together to slightly deeper waters where they can begin what passes for shark foreplay. She lets him bite her around the pelvic and pectoral fins. Not hard to figure out why female nurse sharks have thicker skin than males. Once they're in position, the male shark inserts one of his two claspers into the cloaca of the female. All this thrashing will eventually produce 20 to 50 nurse shark pups from as many as six fathers. It just goes to show you, sharks lead a varied and fascinating life, and they shouldn't be categorized simply as killing machines. When is a whale really a shark? And now we present amazing facts about the whale shark. The whale shark
shark is the largest shark in the ocean, growing to a maximum of 65 feet long and weighing over 10 tons. That's more than three times the size of the formidable great white shark. It also makes the whale shark the largest fish living today. Unlike great whites, however, the whale shark's 3,000 teeth are tiny, and they do not, repeat, do not use them to tear apart mammals. In fact, their teeth are of little use. So what does a whale shark eat to survive? For that, we need a quick sidebar. You're watching the spawning ritual of the dog snapper. The dog snappers parade up the water. At the top of the parade loop, the females lay their eggs and the males release their sperm, which leads to whale shark chow. The whale shark is what's called a filter feeder. As it swims with its huge four foot wide mouth open, prey like these dog snapper eggs gets trapped in a sieve or rakers, while water is expelled right back out through the gills. But dog snapper eggs aren't the only caviar these big mouths love to eat. Cubera gather in deep water and form a cyclone that whirls toward the surface. The female turns white to attract males. They swarm her in a frenzy, releasing sperm as she releases her eggs. A single Cubera female can release tens of thousands of eggs a night for as many as five nights in a row. And since whale sharks can process over 1,500 gallons of water each hour, that means plenty of Cubera eggs here for the gulping. After all, this monster of a shark has no interest in chomping a big, gamey human. As long as they have their more delicate, tiny prey around, these giants are sure to be satisfied. Okay, enough with the huge sharks. Let's find some rare sharks. This is a search for marine life off the Marshall Islands. Nearby nuclear testing at Bikini Atoll made this an unsafe spot in the 1940s. When it was deemed safe again in the mid-1990s, pressure-protected cameras were sent deep specifically to find sharks, which are a partial indicator of a healthy marine ecosystem. Wow! 2,500 feet down, a six-gill shark grabs the bait at the end of the camera. Its thrashing stirs up a huge cloud of sand. The six-gill, so named because sharks usually have just five gills, has a lineage that predates the dinosaur. Six gills can grow up to 15 feet long and can dive as deep as 6,000 feet. They're almost never seen, and even though they've been on the planet longer than we have, we hardly know anything about them. Let's send our cameras even deeper and see what shows up. Now we're at a body-crushing 5,000 feet. Look, there's a chimera, a mysterious predator also called a ghost shark that's related to both sharks and rays. Hey, wait a minute. Could it be an even rarer Pacific sleeper shark? Pacific sleepers can grow up to 25 feet long. The really cool fact about these creatures is their flesh. It has a toxin in it that produces symptoms of drunkenness in humans who eat it. Amazing the things you can find when you go this deep in the ocean. Coming up next, some civets can't get enough of that sweet stuff. A genet goes fishing. And a spunky marsupial takes flight. And later, it's a snake-eat-snake -snake world. Stick around. This program is brought to you by Nature Valley Granola Bars. 